Travis Bravas are your Frazier Cup champions. Yes, the Frazier Cup is coming to the Lone Star State. The Texas Brahmas are your 2019 Frazier Cup champions. Hello everyone, welcome into the final three show of the 2018-19 season. Of course, we are gonna go over the Frazier Cup Championship Tournament that happened this past weekend in Woodridge, Illinois. We're also gonna look at the handful of NCAA commitments coming out of the NA3HL. Day one of the Frazier Cup Championship Tournament saw the LA Nordiques take down the Helena Bighorns by a score of four to one. Colby Audette, Valerie Rykoff, Joshua Malone, and Cole Olette all lit the lamp as Nordiques take game one. Later that night, it was the Binghamton Junior Senators grabbing the first goal against Texas, but that's all they would get. Jacob Callendike scored twice, Seth Cushing and Parker Mera each had two points, and the Texas Brahmas rolled to a 6-1 victory. On day two, the North Iowa Bulls and LA Nordiques went back and forth for 40 minutes as the Bulls had the lead on four separate occasions, but the Nordiques kept finding a way to come back and then took control in the third, scoring three times en route to a 7-4 win. That clinched Pool A for LA. Later on day two, it was do or die for the junior Sens. They had a 2-1 lead midway through the second, but Dante Jones' second goal of the game knotted things up at two. In the third period, it was all St. Louis as Zach Lotus potted a pair of goals. Jones finished his hat trick. St. Louis wins 6-2 and eliminates Binghamton. Day three, North Iowa and Helena playing for a spot in the semifinals and it was all Bulls early. Cam Fagerly nets this beauty, Bulls up 2-0. Early in the second, Jared Bokowiak scores off the pass from Brendan Studio, so it's 4-0. The Bighorns would respond, but it would not be enough as the Bulls advance with an 8-2 victory. St. Louis then played Texas for first place in Pool B, tied at one late in the second when Stuart Pearson's shot goes up in the air and falls behind Jack Regan. That would put Texas up for good. Finley Wood would get the insurance goal in the third. The Brahmas take the game 3-1 and finish first in Pool B. We had two barn burners on semifinal Saturday. First, we had St. Louis and the LA Nordiques. Alex Reve gets pulled down by Tom Urasich. Penalty shot awarded, and Reve makes no mistake. Then we had a very weird situation. A giant hit thrown by Joe Bisson puts a hole in the boards. Take a look at the damage done here. We would need 58 minutes before getting back to the action. And I gotta say, I think the break favored St. Louis as they strike with Matthew Monreal to tie the game. Just two minutes later, Sergei Nisimov with the goal. The Nordiques are back up by one. Still in the second, power play for the Junior Blues. Ivan Galaguzov sneaks in on the far side and beats Andrew Gipitano, and we are tied at two. We would need sudden death overtime to decide this one in just under three minutes in. Alex Reve finds a loose puck in the mad scramble, puts it home, and puts his team in the Frazier Cup final. Another heartbreaking overtime loss for the Junior Blues, but a great season for them. Nothing to be ashamed of. Now, the Nordiques need an opponent. Battle of the Cattle in the second semifinal, North Iowa and Texas. No scoring in the first 20, but 59 seconds into the second, it's Michael Redman with the wraparound. Brahma's lead 1-0. We go to the third, same score. Jimmy McDermott finds Bokowiak going to the net. His top shelf shot ties the game. Just over halfway through the third, Benjamin Lindbergh will not be denied. Gets by not one, but two North Iowa defenders and buries his first goal of the playoffs. It's a big one. It puts the Brahmas up by one. Final chance for North Iowa. The shot gets blocked. Come down to the other end, and the empty netter is put home by Texas. The Brahmas grab a 3-1 victory and a date with the Nordiques. Frazier Cup Final. One of these teams is going to win their first ever NA3HL championship. Late first period, Alex Reve streaking to the net. He's stopped by Bryce Runyon. Second chance from Joshua Sanchez. That's stop two. We go to the end of the second period. Still no score until Matej Palfi fires one off the end boards and gets a lucky bounce off the skates of Gipitano and goes into the net. Rather be lucky than good, the Brahmas have a 1-0 lead. Starting to get late in the third period, Reve wins the race to the puck, throws it to the net, and it goes off the stick of Parker Mera in front and past Runyon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie hockey game. Under five to play, turnover at neutral ice. Redmond picks it up, dishes over to Wood, and the Australian native doesn't miss. A perfectly placed shot. The Brahmas are fired up. They are just minutes away from a national title. Final chance for the Nordiques. The pass is to Colby Audette, who's in a good spot, but he can't get a stick on it. Time runs out, and the Texas Brahmas are your 2019 Frazier Cup champions. 
their first in team history. Let's hear from the Brahmas after the big win. Uh, really intense and nerve-wracking and just kind of scared for the end but we got through and not really honestly just pure joy and happiness and to be with all these guys and gotten through so much this year it's pretty amazing so you know what these kids went through a lot it was really a long season for all of them as far as uh, they went through some big adversities with Casey Smith you know in the car accident and uh, losing the coach so they, they overcame a lot and they stuck together, they never folded the tent and, and they got what they deserved, they really worked for it, so God bless them. Not only did we crown a champion, but it was a big week for commitments as well. Zachary Cormier of the New England Stars has committed to Anna Maria College. The Fitchburg Mass native has played three seasons in the NA3HL. This past year he played 40 games, scoring 8 goals and registering 23 points. Cormier played in 115 career games and logged 42 points. He was a big part of the Stars' run to the Fraser Cup tournament a year ago when he had four points in seven playoff games. Sam Dabrowski of the Cooley Region Show has committed to Hamline University. The forward from Onalaska, Wisconsin played just 12 regular season games this year after spending the majority of his time in the NAHL. He had 47 points in 46 games during the 16-17 campaign with a lacrosse freeze. His junior teammate Tune to Shepard will be playing college hockey at Wilkes University. He had his best season this past year as he logged 11 goals and 80 points in 45 games. The Shepard played parts of four seasons with the lacrosse freeze and Cooley Region Chill. He played in 145 games and scored 123 points. The Shepard is fourth all time in points in team history. Lucas Ehrlich of the Wilmer Warhawks has announced his commitment to Anna Maria College. This season he went 8-20-2 with a 4-29 goals against average and an 8-96 save percentage. He also spent parts of three seasons with the Breezy Point North Stars. Northeast Generals defenseman Alex LePage has announced his plans to play college hockey at Roger Williams University. LePage notched two goals and 15 points this past season in 46 games. He played in 86 career NA3HL games and put up 19 points. Another NA3HL product going to Anna Maria College. Mike Pageant from the Binghamton Junior Senators is also headed there. Pageant was fifth in the league with 51 goals and finished second in points with 123. In two seasons with Binghamton, Pageant played in 95 games and finished with a whopping 182 points. Got a pair of Lumberjacks going to school. Sean Sauls from Granite City will be going to St. Olaf. The Blue Liner lit the lamp twice to go with 12 assists. In his two seasons with the Lumberjacks, he scored five times and had 31 points. Grant Trumbly of the Granite City Lumberjacks will be going to Concordia College. Trumbly finished third on the Lumberjacks in points at 51. His 33 goals were tops on the team. He finishes his junior career with 41 goals and 68 points in 69 career games. He also finished on a high note as he had four goals and six points in the Lumberjacks first round series loss. Last but not least is Jeff Zero of Binghamton. He will play college hockey at Elmira. In 21 games, Zero was 17-3 with a 1.71 goals against average and a 9.50 save percentage to go with five shutouts. In his two NA3HL seasons, he was 26-4, a 152 goals against, a 9.52 save percentage, and nine shutouts. Once again, congratulations to the Texas Brahmas on winning the 2019 Fraser Cup Championship. Shout out to the LA Nordiques boys as uh, they are loyal supporters of the three show. Thanks for watching all season long and congrats on a great season. Also, big congrats out to the other four division winners that made it to Fraser Cup. Great seasons had by all. Thank you for tuning into the three show this season. We enjoyed bringing you the best of what the NA3HL had to offer from all the commitments to all the highlights. It was a truly magical season. We hope you join us again in 2019-20. The quest for the 2020 Fraser Cup begins in two weeks as we have the NA3HL draft scheduled for April 18th, 2019. That's going to do it for us here on the three show. I'm Vinny Paraselli. Thanks for tuning in all season long. We'll see you next fall.